What's up, everybody? Sorry we're a little late tonight. We'll try not to make that a habit. My name is the Muff Bandit. Here with CMYK Matter, we're going to be doing a little commentary for you guys on Operation Crusader. Absolutely. One life it's going event. to be a good time. And it's held by Squad Ops. Uh, it's July 19th, for reference. Uh, this is going to be on Cocan. It's Operation Crusader. The U.S. have to relocate a checkpoint. And for the most part, there we go. Let me get flying here. Maybe not. Not quite yet. Starts in 20 seconds. Then we're able to get flying. We are allowed to split forces. That is correct. But yeah, U.S. against insurgents. The U.S. get to pick a location for their vehicle checkpoint. One squad's going to go there. They're going to hold down the fort while the rest of them rescue them. Once they uh, get there, they'll dig up that fob, relocate down to the south end, which is their LZ, in which they will be able to defend, load, uh, uh, sorry, run Logi truck, anything like that. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a good time. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this all plays out. The last time I was on this map, actually, I forgot to press F to pick up the fob. It was very exciting. All right, there we go. We're flying yeah. now. And you yelled at me in uh, in the stream, actually, and now I'm here. <laughs> it's good stuff. I always enjoy this operation. It's kind of... It starts off pretty fast with trying to grab the squad that the U.S. has, you know, sitting out somewhere. They have to try to quickly get them, pick them up, get them back to the exfil location, and then the insurgents kind of have some time to see how they want to attack, but not too much, considering they do get logi runs to that exfil location, so they can set up all kinds of mean, nasty fob stuff, you know, funneling locations and HMGs and whatever else. Always good to see how this plays out, though. Sometimes the insurgents will try to attack whatever the checkpoint is early, and sometimes they'll try to just play it back a little bit and then wait for the exfil location. We'll see what they tr try to do this time, though. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it's always a different... Uh, it's always a different event because the caches are in different locations for the insurgents to spawn with, and it's there, there's so many different areas that they can locate their checkpoint and relocate to the loading zone. A lot of different yeah, there's there's a lot of different options. There are four locations where they can actually have their checkpoints, and we'll show you that here in a little bit. But then the exfil location, there are two options there. Also, not to mention the INS get two different spawn locations just due to the nature of caches. So they can kind of pick wherever they want to spawn. A couple of people happy that we're here. It's good to see you, Nasty Nate. Good to see you, Call Sign Hotel. Happy to see you guys hanging out here tonight. Oh man. You know this is weird. I got the map up right now. And Yeah. And I see I see three spawn points. It's the two caches and US main. Do you have that too? Yeah, yeah, I do. That's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> That's an interesting one. You know, um I feel like it might be a bad time for the INS to Spawn at U.S. Main? That's just my feeling, though. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah, that's odd. I know we don't have this in our regular rotations. I wonder if it actually is that way. That's so weird. It could be a little bug with admin cam. You know, they keep changing things around, so it might be something that's just a little bit of a bug with admin cam for now. Definitely. So something a little different for you guys tonight. We... Heard some folks talking about it, and we are trying a little bit of a different method for commentating tonight. Both of us are going to be on the same team, Muff and I, so you won't have to deal with the color switching this time. The guys who are going to be blue are going to be INS for both rounds and both cameras, and the guys who are going to be red are going to be the US for both rounds and both cameras. So hopefully that will create a little bit of a better viewing experience for everybody. So you can see these red guys over here placing down their fob to get ready on their location and those are going to be us all night red for both muff and i so we'll see how that goes so i think before we get started here might be a good time to go ahead and 
go over the operation and talk about some of the things that are going to be happening and the assets and the things that you're going to see. So let's go ahead and get that running here. All right. So the U.S., they get two ARs, one grenade launcher, one LAT, and one medic per squad. They also get one standard HMMVW, also a Logi truck, a transport truck, and they do get that fob that they can pick up and drop somewhere else. For the INS, it's two ARs, two LATs, one scout, one raider, and one medic per squad. And they can also vehicle scrounge, meaning they can pick up any of the vehicles that they have on the map. Any of those ones that they can see out there, the Arty Techie, the Dishka Techies, any of those things. So the general objective here is for the U.S. to have their checkpoint set with their FOB location. The INS are going to either try to attack that FOB location, pick it up, and move it back to an exfil location. Uh, or they can just wait for the exfil location and then try to attack there. But ultimately, the INS are going to be trying to destroy that FOB at all costs. Pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to see how they choose to accomplish this. Every single commander always has something different. And speaking of our commanders tonight, we've got two very capable ones, Karma Cut and Dr. Kamikaze. Very commanders tonight. Both guys that have been here for quite a while, and they know the gig. They know the gig. Let's see. Who do they got for their capable squad leads? Looks like Dr. Kamikaze for his capable squad leads are going to be Mighty, Tedish, fill in the blank, and I believe Hamlet is the last one for him, correct? It is, yep. Yeah, Hamlet. Who do you got over on the other side? Oh, the other side's got Shadow Ritual, Best Pony, Kirkley, and X-Bit. All these guys have squad yeah. led a few times before, except maybe fill in the blank. I don't know if he's done it too much. Fill in the blank, he's at least done it twice while I've been commentating. So, you know. Hopefully that'll be decent for him. Looks like we do have the ability to listen in on the U.S. briefing here uh, through the eyes of XBit. So let's go ahead and take the chance to listen to that. Throughout this time, Squad 4, or scra yeah, Squad 4, Quirkly Squad, will be taking the Logi truck and moving and setting a perimeter on the LZ in Echo 6. They will be the main primary, uh, pri priority perimeter <laughs> squad on that point just so many people uh yeah so that's the essential first phase of the op is the retrieval of squad two once again that's squad one loading up at the trans and the humvee moving the convoy to pick up squad two on the way they will drop off expert squad expert squad will set up the infantry screen we will retrieve squad two with uh squad one's logic or squad one's trans bring them back to the lz where quirkly will be waiting at which point in time we'll transition to phase two which is holding the lz quirkly and Best Pony Squad will be the only squad on the point. Best Pony will be running Logi, building up the fences. Squad Squad 2, which is uh, Pony Squad, will be running the Logi. Quirkly Squad will still be on perimeter defense. Shadow Squad will be on the south with the Humvee, providing security along our south flank. With x staying on the MG markers to the north, locking down those compounds. And then we'll hold for the duration of the operation. If you lose leadership or your squad is uh, takes casualties and you have no leadership, rally back at the LZ. Copy. 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 Right, anyone have any questions? Copy. Yeah, uh, I can't fucking see. You, the worst position. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh, the, the shades are terrible. What the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I'll just go break them out with stuff for life. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, looks like we got a few people in here that saw a post on Reddit yesterday of a, of a previous match. And there's a lot of them, I tell you. This ought to be a good one today. <laughs> it's going to be a little different. We try to make them all different. They're all going to be different and dynamic. So this is going to be good. The insurgents have just called that they're ready. We they are, are close. I, mean, I am sitting here and I can see 
the stakes down the road. I can totally see the stakes <laughs> sitting there from where this insurgent team's at. So I don't know if they've seen them yet or not, but I sure do. I wonder. I wonder if that's going to end up being a mistake for them. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Live at fifty. Yeah, you can minute. see these stakes. Go these stakes are the ones that you can see right down the road. I can even see the blue of the INS team. Oh, oh yeah. man! Oh, they are. Close I wonder if they're going to see that. Oh wow, that is crazy. If they peek down that road, that's that's it. Oh man, yep. Could get <laughs> get ugly for somebody here. I don't know if the insurgents will drive right into them, or the U.S. will will just get totally caught off guard. And do they have any vehicles crap. up there? The insurgents, they do. They have one. Yeah, they've got a uh, one shielded oh, right. techie here. Looks like they're getting ready to roll out too. At Moon Style and XF are in there as well as Corsair. We're going to be live in about 10 seconds right now. Ooh, we're almost ready. So, looks like they do right, have that Dishkateki kind of mounted up there. They're getting ready. And that Dishkateki is pretty damn quick. It can it can light up a target and then move quickly out of the area. It doesn't have much in the way of defenses. It can hold five people, so it can c transport a couple people around, and that thing just absolutely can light up a infantry squad in no time. I love the Dishka Techies. I love the Techies in general. They are just really cool. They're fast, and if you know how to use them, there's something really special, and we are live. Oh, man, the U.S. here getting ready. Toza Tura, did you miss round two? Negative, buddy. This is round one. Just Oh, and they open up. The U.S. is opening up on the INS in the field. U.S. in the front of your view here. INS in the field over there. We've already got people taking contact. Scarce gets hurt real bad. He's running away. Oh, oh no. Down. Jack Reynolds is <laughs> hit. Carpy is hit. And down GL goes fight. Scarce. Wow. Uh, that was Hamley's quick. Squad. They've lost two. That was very Passing quick. Giving orders to attack. They're all going to start reeling in here really quick. As you can see, maybe here comes the rest of the U.S. Oh, yep. Here comes the vehicle. So this squad, they're going to have to dig down this fob once the vehicle gets here. And then they are going to have to exfil this fob and their guys that are here back to the exfil location. So we'll see. Here comes the vehicle. They can't dig up that fob until the vehicle gets here. But here comes the Humvee, and here comes the transport oh. truck. Humvee's in, transport's in there, digging the fob. There's four, sh three shovels on it, and squad leader, it's half done. They've got her about half to get deconstructed. Their laptop's about to fall over. The laptop fell over. A couple <laughs> more seconds. They're getting it dug down. All right, that fob's gone. You're going to watch these U.S. guys load up and just bail. They're going to head out. They've done great yep. so far. Hear that Humvee opening up in on them. Dish get hitting the Humvee. Oh, they're opening up to the oh. north as well. Down goes the Dishka Techie. Dishka down. Wow. Beautiful shot. The Humvee is burning really good right now. They're going to have to get that thing out of there as quick as they possibly can. They're still taking it. Agalock at the, is rocking and rolling. Ray T at the wheel. Rate. Buddy jumps in. Ooh. They're going. They're getting out of there. That RPG came in. It was close, but they're they not even running. Looking, they're not even looking back. I don't know what the <laughs> Humvee's doing. Time to go. And they're oh, taking picking off. up somebody. Pretty sure they just got out. Now, I think that Hamlet squad, the ones who actually took casualties first, were the ones that were going to be heading to the LZ. I believe so. That's why they were going out on a wide path like that through the fields but what that ended up being for them was actually just kind of a death trap whenever they opened up on them two of their guys going down real early in this a couple of people taking some hits their medics can get them healed up though and they're starting to move out here hamlet slinger evan sma torch and cool breeze the remaining elements as well as carpy remaining elements of that squad now going to start moving south i'm hearing call outs on squad comms or command comms there Telling them that they lost, or letting them know that they lost two people. So, 
We'll see how they manage to put this together now, you know. They got some good hits on that Humvee, and that Humvee can't really repair. So it's going to have to be at that state for the rest of the map. Yep, no repairs at all. They can, they've can. they got the fob up. I don't know if they're going to do any Logi runs. I don't think they get a Logi. Yeah, they do. They've got it there already. They dropped it. Very good. It's great to see. Somebody asking why there were no IEDs. Well, nobody got in range to place them down in time. That was definitely just a very quick extract for the U.S., and they opened up quick as well. Ooh, Got to commend them really for that. That too. was, yeah, that was good stuff. They had a, they had a Humvee and a Logi driver, or Humvee and a transport driver who knew their objective, and it was get there quick. <laughs> oh, and they did. They tore it up into there. It was a great job. Good organization, and well. I like the sandbags. I like those sandbags on the road to provide a little bit of protection while they were mounting up to get out of there. It was nice to see. That's a Wait, new discotheque. That discotheque did some work. All right, Alvin, I want you to set honey. up to cover. Yes, Bravo, you're going to burn close. Is burning. Uh, uh, just asked if first? people can respawn. No, they cannot. Once you're down, this is a, just, just a strictly one life event. So once you're down, you're down. However, people are able to fly around in admin cam like you see us. They can observe the rest of the match this way, so they don't just sit there in darkness. Yeah, that would be really boring. That would be real boring. So the remnants of Hamleet squad here are mounting up in this Dishkateki. It looks like they got themselves a replacement for that one that blew up earlier, and they are going to use that to possibly go on the assault. Now, there are six people left in this squad, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that thing can only hold five. So they're going to have to figure out if somebody's going to get left behind. We'll see. For the most part, now, the insurgents are just coordinating right now. They're getting into position. They're trying to figure out exactly which LZ was chosen. Uh, if you're wondering, it's Echo 6 keypad 5. Yeah, that Echo 6 keypad 5 one seems to be a little more popular from the times that I've been on this operation just because it has a little bit better in the way of outer walls but i'm sure we can see yeah. a successful defense on the other one too it's yep yeah, the thing is it's mainly surrounded by open fields correct yeah which just makes it, it tough to push from any angle a lot of opportunities to place guys up around those fields too and kind of flank a push you know you know i'm not sure we might see the u.s drop some mortars here or something there's no, Actually, no restrictions like... really on building Looks like insurgent forces might run into some U.S. forces here on the north. This is X-Bit. SM Pier Paradise and a couple of guys here. Let's see. Who is this? This is Tedish's squad pushing into this little compound here that is occupied by kind of a forward U.S. scout force. They they wanted to get some eyes on this. You can see X-Bit there on your screen. It's kind yeah, of holding guess, this area. Most of U.S. soldier, and that whole squad is pushing in on Crest of the Sailor within 20 feet. He right can now. probably hear footsteps. Oh, I'm sure. The guest can probably hear those footsteps of uh, who is that? Jacks right outside his door. Oh man, they're moving just around there. Smith is in the trees. He is just very concealed. Tedish is right outside Big Yes's building right now. Tedish right outside his building. We'll see if he's That's able Shasta to. Uh, soldiers. Tedish moves away. Krusty takes yeah, a shot. Krusty goes sailor. down. That was, I think, Pure Paradise or Exbit. I From believe so. Or Krusty. Tedish goes Tedish down, goes down as Smith. well. That was definitely the saw that hit him. Big yes, got him. Oh, wow. big yes. Right. Yeah, he domed him from inside that building. He just tapped him. Good work from him. Big yes, just holding out in that building. Doing the best he can. Trying to keep that angle. Now, Jax and a couple of the other guys are off to his east. That's Gonza the Gons, Lucid, and Jax off to his east just trying to Holding that building, they might not be sure where contact is coming from. And when you only have one life, contact's a scary thing. Drew Meister's down at just uh, north of the LZ. He's taking long shots up there. Sending tracers for sure. 
Somebody just asked who he's shooting at. Well, probably you. <laughs> there goes some more sawfire. That's Smith. He's hit again. Smith might be bleeding. He may need to bandage himself. Yeah, U.S. taking some hard contact here, but they did answer back with two kills for themselves, taking down Tedish and Krusty. Tedish being one of the squad leads. Krusty also a very experienced gun, somebody who's been around here for quite a while. Sucks to have him out early. I can tell you A lot that. of insurgents over that berm right there. The battle spacing is asking for Ooh. trouble. Oh, all I'm picturing is one frag grenade in the middle of that cluster. That's yeah, all I'm they, picturing. They got to remember there's Just a jail one out frag. There looking for them too. Yep. U.S. opens up. INS forces Paradise taking raid. some shots. Filling Indeed. the blank goes down. That's another squad leader for the U.S. They've lost two so far. They do have uh, second and third commands that will take over for them when they go down. But once those top three are down, there's no more communication for that. Sir Rex goes down local. as well, I believe. Man, Sightless goes down. This squad that pushed across that road is having a bad time. Corsair goes down as well. Excellent defense by the U.S. Expit moving through this building here, just peeking out, taking shots back in on them. Oh, man, he's peeking that corner and taking good shots back towards the INS. Oh, man, Rager goes down. XF goes down. There's U.S. just taking shots from everywhere they they can. Anything that moves is getting shot at right now. This is a good There's little ambush force. I don't think that the INS were really ready for this. I think that they were thinking, oh, the exfil point will be defended, but they probably won't have that many people out here. GLs into nothing. His GLs <laughs> aren't going off. I think he's aiming X-Bit opening up again. Big guess does get hit. Yeah, big yes, just hanging out on the east, running back. He's hurt a little bit, but he's going to be okay, at least for now, unless he takes another shot. I don't know that he has any immediate contact. Smith, that saw gunner, he's hurt real bad, but he's okay for now. He's he's just going to hang out. Oh, Here more shots coming in push. behind. Expit goes down. Vedita goes down. Pure Paradise is right there. Gonzo the Gons gets Gonzo answered back as did Lucid. Smith is coming in and Big Yes pushing with him. Jax Big is Yes. Down. Good Big job Yes cleaned the that up. They're reacting yep. great. Big Yes and Smith, between the two of them, they reacted to that little flank and cleaned it up. You know, communication can get real messy in these situations whenever people are going down like that. And they can't say anything after they go down. They can't call out where their contact is or anything like that. So for them to be able to react in such a concise and proper way speaks to some really, really good brains. A lot of that comes good from stuff. experience, being able oh, yeah. to hear them. Being able to hear, being able to pinpoint where their shots are coming from like you say the experience of knowing what an ak sounds like at distance compared to what uh, an m4 sounds like at distance you know hey, we're going, we're going so those There's are things you can only down acquire down with a lot of shots at the western forces i'm surprised that we haven't seen a mortar placed yet the they US. might not see the value in it. They might just decide that that's not something that they really want to be a part of. They think that mortars are not going to be too valuable for them if they think the INS force is going to be too mobile for that. I'm not sure. I'm hearing the I'm hearing the command say we got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing. So hopefully the insurgents won't slow down. Otherwise, that'll just give the U.S. more time to regroup and relocate them. Taking a lot of casualties on the insurgent side. I can't see the the United States casualties or anything anymore. That kind of bugs me, but that's how it goes. That's just nine point six, I guess. Well, we can see that seventeen down for the U.S. You can yeah. see it. I can't. Yeah, I'm all bugged. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, I can. I can definitely see that seventeen down on the U.S. side. 
So it looks like Dr. Kamikaze, Captain Foley in immune style, kind of the remnants of this little command-based squad, Dr. Kamikaze leading it, are moving up on this eastern flank, communicating in local. They're going to try to make a push here, but the U.S. forces have done pretty well in locking them down, the INS, losing a lot of people in these initial pushes. Yeah, I'm sure that the U.S. are kicking there, but I'm almost positive the insurgents are just getting stomped here. I can't see the deaths or anything right now. To get oh, 15. Idea. I'm sorry. 15 down for insurgents, 10 down for U.S. I was reading it incorrectly. So there you go. They have yeah, them the by US five. The U.S. are definitely more centralized with their forces. They've got a Lodgy truck still running for them. That Humvee is positioned to the south. I think they might have bailed on it because it's hurt so bad. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they plan to do. They do have kind of this long eastern flank coming in down here that has definitely been spotted out. This is Mighty Squad pushing themselves along this far eastern side. He's got eyes on the enemy Lodgy, I believe. And they're going to move in. The Discotechi, they open up. Mighty Squad pushing in now, moving across this field. Mighty Family's leading pushing the charge. The, west. the discas are providing a little bit of cover fire while everyone moves in. Using that disca techie to effect, putting it behind that berm and using it to fire in, hopefully from a protected position. That's what you want to do with that thing. And then you want to Family's move it. His guys within about 200 meters. Smokes, I'm waiting mighty. He's really only got four guys charges up in. here. And Hamlet's taking shots. He hasn't downed anybody yet. We got some shots going out on the north as well over there. Looks like a small force pushed in here. Yeah, maybe not. A couple of insurgents go down with that one as well. Oh, Sir Rex goes down. Bird person. And Karma Cut right around here. Karma Cut command. For the U.S., getting his getting his hands dirty, laying down Sir Rex. So good for him. Always nice when you can get a kill or two as command. I I haven't managed to do that yet. But Mighty and his squad pushing in now, getting ready to assault that position. if you can try to conserve ammo until we push. Mighty crossing that field. Oh man, this is quite a lot of insurgent forces pushing here, but the HMGs are opening up. Ram gets taken out by that HMG that they placed. Good fire. Yeah, that's Swan Tap Man in there. Laying it down. He's shooting at yep. that Dishkateki as well. Just a little low on his shots. Yeah, that Dishkateki. Taking a minimal amount of damage. It got pinged a little bit, but otherwise it's doing okay. Oh, there's shots coming in on it, though. Oh, he's getting hit. Vsauce Kennet nah, opening back. Up. All right, the U.S. have decided they don't need any more Lodgy runs. They've got a bunch of 50 cows. <laughs> a lot of smoke grenades coming in. Yep. It seems that they are happy with the defenses they have. I can't really blame them. They've got some really good-looking defenses. Hamlet squad is pushed to the south. They are going to find some action down there pretty quick. Discotechi on the east has pulled back. And now Mighty and his squad. Mighty Google tracks Dr. Kamikaze pushing up together. You can see on Mighty's screen there, Google tracks in front of him running up. And they are getting up to that wall. And they're going to see about laying in some fire. Mighty takes shots. Mighty goes down. Another squad lead down. Looks like that was inverted that got him. Not 100% there on that one. Ham leads guys belly down in the fields. There's five, four of them crawling along. You know, Kami, Kami didn't really send anybody to take out that logistics truck, and this is kind of them paying for it. You know, you can see all... Oh, Google Track's taking a lot of fire. He's pushing in under heavy MG fire, getting real close himself. He's got a grenade in his hand. Let's see what he does with it. Throws it out on that roof. Towards one tap. 
Oh, it hits Inverted, nearly takes him down. Inverted's bleeding, he better get himself bandaged. He's hurting real bad. Oh, lats go in on that oh, MG nest. Inverted he bled out. Alright, Hamlet's down here on the south. He's really got to start moving. These guys are getting wiped really hard up there. They got to make some action down here. Red coat goes down on the southeast. Google Tracks trying to move these guys up. Trip He's pushing up right, right, right on the south here. He drops down, puts in shots on one tap, and Google goes down to one tap man who peaked that corner really well. Good job to one tap man. Nice job on his part. Immune style pushing up to try to cover. Oh my gosh, Hamley is right on Trippets. Is he? Oh man. Hamley gets Trippets. He's got more though. Shadowed Rituals up here. Just over the berm. Himself, I mean, we got He's going to get him. Hamley's going to walk right into him. Three, three. Get some guys on this. Oh, Hamley takes it down. Good shot by Hamley. Whoops out his pistol now. Oh, poor one tap got down by Captain Foley here on the south. Captain Foley just proning in this field, laying in some shots and takes them down. All right, more eats kids and Zed said they are done watching Hamley kill everybody. I see a mute style just on the other side of, of yeah uh, these guys. He's taking some shots. He's laying low. He's down on his belly with bullets whizzing over his head. Server error 404 is Ham Insurgents Command. Negative. That is Dr. Kamikaze, if he's still up. I think he's still up. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it, no. How many insurgents like are left? Oh, immune style gets tapped from the south. Zed and Moreed's kids pushing up on him. Saw him laying out in that field and just taps him down. Oh, A couple the little disc quick shots just got dropped. Style. Oh no, that so was the Eastern Dish. That was Vsauce Kennet. Yep, it's Vs Cantador or whatever Man. his name is over there. And then Hamlet's guys to the south. Captain Foley all by himself. Outside. Miyamoto with him. Miyamoto with him. Ah, Miyamoto's with him. That's correct. Yep. So many flying around. Oh, they take down more each kids. Captain Foley, yeah. Good for Zed him. Zed heard it. Zed's looking. If he's got a grenade, now would be a great time to tell. Oh, yep, he's doing it. He's going to throw a nade out there. Oh, oh he's got a GL. It took he out Foley. Foley. He hurt Miyamoto, too. Miyamoto has to bandage. If Zed pushes, he'll be able to hear that bandaging. He heard it. He turned. Man, this is tense. Miyamoto and Zed in this field. The, hum the Humvee driver, the techie driver, ditched it. Looks like Miyamoto is going to pull back for now. I think that they're trying to regroup. All the insurgents are going to try to get together. Maybe. That's probably not a bad idea. Probably not a bad idea for them. You know, consolidate your forces and try to move together. Miyamoto gets a little brave and crouches. And just as soon as he does, shots come in at him. He got a little brave. He said, I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm a little further out. I can crouch. And as soon as he does, shoot, shots come raining back in. Yeah, they're shooting right over top of them there. Yep. <laughs> so this is it. There's about two, four, six, eight insurgents left, I'm guessing. Kind of a guess. Yeah, just a couple of them down there on the south. And Looks then... like there's about twice that for the U.S. They've got a squad in the yeah. LZ and a squad north. The U.S. doing a great job of getting forward defenses. I think that that's ultimately what led to this. The U.S. did a great job with those defenses that were sitting out, and they reacted very well. They took down a good amount of insurgents, and then they pulled back as they took a couple casualties here and there, ultimately trading more kills than deaths. And this is what you end up with, a good consolidated, consolidated force at the end. Really good stuff. Just here comes he's the kind push. of just throwing some bullets out there to provide suppression. One goes down here. Everybody's throwing smokes. 
Yep, here Damn, comes the push. Deep side. This is gonna be it. Carpy's behind him. Dishkatechi's reloading. <laughs> and it's just one guy operating that now, I believe, right? Yeah, he's all by himself. He's actually gonna relocate, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Who is it? It is really hard to read his name. <laughs> Evans SMA. Evans SMA. Ah, Evans. Cantador, do you have the smokes left? Yes, I he just relocated a little to the west. Okay, pass him over. How hard is this game for someone who's never played a Milsim before? Uh, I would say it's this is a pretty accessible game if you've never okay, played Milsim before. Be Much more accessible five. than something, say, like Arma, in my opinion. Very, it, and it, very as far game. as knowledge about a lot of the military terms, yeah. you don't need to know anything. I rarely use proper military terms if I'm squad lead and, and no one Everything's cares. a BTR, as as get, right? As long as you get the point across and they know where to look and, and where to move, to stick together, you're going to be just fine. A lot of times, if you just listen to your squad leader, you're going to be fine. You don't have to report, you know, sir, enemies, 330, <laughs> approximately 400 meters out. I'd be weirded out if somebody did that. I would be really weirded People out. People do it. People totally do it. They mm -hmm. they get totally oh. immersed, and it's great. A couple shots coming in here on the south. Hamley belly crawling, pushing up. Cantador takes a couple shots. He's laying down, bandaging. This is kind of the last of the push. That disc attack got, moving in on the south. They got a few guys left over there still. They do. I'm following that. Yeah, I'm still following that Dishkatechi. He's he's moving around looking. Torched actually approaching the compound from the south here. He's got a position and he's pushing into the buildings. The Dishka is just shooting all over the roofs. He's just shooting everything on the roofs. Just keep their heads down. That's all he's trying to do. Oh, yeah. Just disregard for anything and anyone. If it's a sandbag, he's shooting it. <laughs> Provide suppression oh. and somebody actually was able to get up there torched yeah torched torch got just hanging there. out on that roof he puts out a couple shots i don't think he got anybody but he definitely made him duck boy there's u.s soldiers just running all over the bottom floor of that compound they are just, it's like ants in the anthill right there just scattered all over you know, I think three plus the Dishka techie is all that's left now. Three plus the Dishka. Yep, so four people relocating for the INS. Faster than my camera. <laughs> all right, he's turned around. Oh, there's a guy right in front of him. Bird person's right there. He's reloading. Oh. He's going to get one tapped. He's dead. He got wrecked. They wrecked him good. Dishka techie got taken out as well, yep. Yep, that's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. What do we got? I got you. Three. Cantador, torched. And never mind on on Cantador, that's actually. <laughs> Miyamoto. Miyamoto's still there on the north side. Yeah, Cantador just got bonked. So we've just got torched on the south, Miyamoto on the north, and that's it for INS. We've got a buttload of U.S. left. Those forward defenses paying their dues over time. Miyamoto and Matrix are about to touch guns. Miyamoto gets him with the SKS. He's rocking that scout kit like a boss right now. Good for him, man. Here comes more. Oh, I think Silverman saw his gun poking out. Silverman totally saw his gun. And he takes him out. Miyamoto's down. We are down to the last man standing. It's USMC torched. He's also How got often... an SKS. You know Chinstrap what, Yacht? asking real quick, yeah. If oh, he's go got ahead. an go IED, he might as well just run over to that truck and drop it, and boom, end it for everybody. At least himself. <laughs> he's crossing the road. Oh, Karma, He's going to run right into Karma Cut's gun right here. Here it comes. Karma Cut's going to get the last yep, kill. He's going to see him on the angle. Karma yep, Cut gets down he goes. That's it. That's going to be GG. INS going down. Wow. Great stuff. Great stuff. And there's the GG call. That's going to be it for the first round. But don't go away. We've got another round after this. And I think we actually will be getting an interview with Dr. Kamikaze and Karma Cut here shortly.
if we can get them into the channel. Yeah, as we roll maps, we're going to get a, get a couple of the commands in here, talk about their strategies, how it went down, maybe things are going to change. Yeah, we'll see if we can get them in here. So Chenstrap asking, how often are One Life servers playing? Uh, those are played three times a week. We were on one on Wednesday and two on Saturdays. So we stream two of them a week, though, pretty much. As often as we can, we like to be here. Believe it or not, we actually like doing this thing, you know? I don't know about you, Muff, but I like hanging out here. I like talking to people. Oh, yeah. Love Always helping out, time. giving information. So we're getting ourselves set up here. We'll get another squad created, and then we will get into another round of this. And you guys get to see all the teams are going to flip sides. You know, who was U.S. is now going to be INS, and whoever's INS is going to be U.S., and we'll see what the how the strategies differentiate between last time and this time. All right, Karma Cut's here. He's uh, him and Dr. Kamikaze are both here. Let's talk about last round. First of all, excellent rush in the beginning by the U.S. That was well executed and well defended. What do you guys think about that? It hurt. <laughs> it hurt <man. laughs> we had we had everybody going to every point but that singular one because we're like, oh, the caches are close to it. We we don't need to worry about that. Reverse He's not going psychology, there. dude. Reverse psychology. Playing in the easy cache. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know there no. was actually insurgents that could see the stakes in the ground like none of them saw them but i was floating around you there know, and i could see the stakes over there from it's funny i i was the one that called out sandbags in the in the road and we had two squads sitting in the in the town with me and i was like i had to be the one to call that out like you guys didn't spread out enough at all just to, to check that out you know right there but you know yeah i think they yeah. left the that little village, they left a different direction. So what happened? You guys got out of there so quick. It was it was tough to do anything. Against. Yeah, we, we we had a plan. We made sure that we had a screening elements. Made sure we got in there fast because uh, you don't want to catch two squads in the trans in the open. <laughs> no. It seemed like for the U.S., you guys had a lot of, as you said, screening squads out there. I mean, that seemed to be the plan from the start. They reacted very well. Do you feel like they performed well for you guys? Yeah, we uh we definitely felt that pushback from INS after the initial uh, extract. You took out a lot of uh, a lot of that initial screen squad, but did the job. Hold, held the position from that position. We were able to watch the uh, extreme west and east flanks for, of the LZ from that pause. So that was uh, pretty crucial in that game, I'd have to say. Yeah, that was good stuff. Yeah, I did what I could to throw as many guys against the meat grinder at the end, but they were set up pretty, pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so. that, that's what I was going to bring up next, Doctor Kamikaze. You had some trouble pushing in there and. Karma just had eyes everywhere, and there was eight, there was fifty yep. cows pointing west and east, and there's a squad to the south. It was just really well defended, and, you know, we and got you had people, you guys spread out. They were really spread out, but it was just hard to get them in there. We we got people to the location, but we just didn't get enough at once. Is what it ended up ended up happening. I mean, oh, okay, there was a small trickle of one or two people getting on location, but. Everybody was taking too long in the end to get there. Other than that, that, you know, big torrent. yeah, yeah, exactly. But in the end, you know, he had that group of people. I think uh, Karma himself was up just north of the uh, compound, keeping eyes on the push. So uh, it it was tough because they were hitting us from all angles. Um, tried to tried to get those techies to move a bit and put down fire. You know, just stay mobile. But uh, they got hit pretty quick as well. So. Although we did yeah. get one to right to the end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, it's, no, it's tough to push once you're entrenched. So. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we got to get back in here, but thank you yep. so much for having us. And, uh, yeah, good luck round to you guys. Yep. Yeah, good luck, everybody. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. All right. So that was Dr. Kamikaze and Karmakut, the two commanders of the teams that you saw last round. Very cool stuff. And they are going to command again, just yeah. on opposite teams. Yeah, they'll flip it around. Uh, Freaks asking, do we have an age limit? We have a maturity limit. Uh, we want people to be of a maturity level of 18 and above. Are we going to strictly enforce an age limit? I don't believe that that's something we do. Muff, you might have a better answer on that. 
Uh, the way I, level. when I get asked this question, I just tell people if we have to ask you your age, then, then we might have a problem. You know, yeah. if you come in and you act <laughs> maturely and you, you don't get on anybody's nerves or anything, then, then it's fine. You know, be a team player. Uh, don't, don't, don't act like a, a child and you won't get treated like one and you'll be welcome to play with us. For sure. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to go over. You guys probably saw some first-person perspectives on the ground of people. Uh, that is such a great feature that we have, and I'm going to give you guys those names, those guys right now, because it's, we, we have to thank them for what they do. It's great that they stream this, and mm -hmm. they give you that. You know, you get to see some awesome shots from their angles. So, of course, there's myself and Matter running around, flying around the whole time. We've also got, though, a crazy Russian. We have got ourselves Google Treks. Got a squad leader named Xbit. Let's see, we got more. The Silver Man. Next up's Big Yes. We saw him get some, get a few kills last round from his perspective, I think. Uh, we've also got another squad leader named Mighty. We've got ourselves Krusty the Sailor. Why are we not using that? Location. He squad leads quite a bit too. Next up would be It's Crispy. Shadowed Ritual. And our last camera is going to be Jay Remick. I would like to try to catch the. Wow. Yeah. So one of those caches. One of those caches apparently spawned on top of one of the compounds, so they're going to have to pick from the other locations. We'll see how that goes. Those cameras, though, those are the guys that bring you the really cool stuff. I mean, those those first-person cams. Anytime I watch a stream back, I always get excited when I see them, you know, pushing in through smoke and bullets whizzing over their head, and I'm like, man, I'm I'm glad that's not me right now. <laughs> yeah, and many times they uh, that's why you'll hear us call out names too, give you those mm -hmm. names, and then you'll end up seeing them first-person sometimes. So big shout out to also, those guys, as always. We we just like to make sure that everybody gets some recognition around here. These guys are all of our friends. You know, we talk to these guys, we hang out with them day in and day out. So we like to give them a little bit of recognition. You know, at least I do. That's how I feel. Let's see. We got any other questions? Astro Comet asking, are there full lobbies often? Yeah, there are typically quite a number of populated servers every night, including several squad ops ones. So I don't think that you'll ever have a problem finding a game in squad ops or in squad in general. I've never had a problem since I got this game. There's always full servers to check into. Oh yeah, always 24 seven. There's almost always a full server. You make a lot of friends that way, you know, playing at weird times sometimes. <laughs> and that's in every region too. North America, yeah, Europe, yeah. Australia's got full servers all the time. It's good to see, you know. I, I like that this game has that kind of international appeal to it. I think that it speaks to a well-developed game. You know, if you are able to appeal to an audience that has, that is as diverse as North America, Europe, Australia, so on and so forth. I know we even have a couple players from, you know, Japan and other places, so... If you can appeal to that many people in so many different areas, you're doing Dang, something. Dang, I didn't right. know we had anyone from Japan. I know we've got like India and all these weird places, though. Yeah, yeah, we, we've we got a couple of people. Actually, I believe there's two from Japan that I was talking to the other day. They were both very surprised to see each other in Discord. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. I think one of the rockets might have killed the emplacement, though. That's good, because there was like two guys up on that freaking top. I, I got one of them in the head. Right, it appears that the U.S., I don't know where they're going. They might have just chosen the same spot. Maybe not. Oh, they might be going farther. Oh, they're heading way up to the northwest corner. This one's going to be fun. Check that west cache first. If it's not that west cache, it's in the back two caches, which means we can set up a perimeter ASAP before they even uh, extract copy. 
So if, if it's All right. Cash, I want to surround it so, obviously, as we're getting into round two here, we want to tell you guys what's going on. This is Operation Crusader. Got a little something special for you. Bring that up. And what this breaks down to is a fight between U.S. and INS. The U.S. get two ARs, one GL, one LAT, and one Medic, as well as Humvees, Logi, Trans, and a FOB. The INS get two ARs, one LAT, one Scout, one Raider, and one Medic per squad. And they can vehicle scrounge, meaning they can pick up anything that they want around there, the Dishka Techies, the Arty Techies. So for the objective, the U.S. have placed a checkpoint somewhere on the map. They have four locations that they can choose from to place that checkpoint, and they have a FOB there. The U.S. has to try to race to get to their guys while the INS will be attacking that FOB location. Once the U.S. retrieves the FOB, they will move to an exfil location, drop the FOB back down, and they are able to build everything up from there. So they will be trying to defend that point after that. So that's what we're looking at here for Operation Crusader. And the U.S. have located their FOB. They put it way up in Bravo 2. Way up here. And that FOB that they're dropping there, as you can see on your screen, stands for Forward Operating Base, if you don't know what a FOB is. It's basically that radio structure there, but it allows a lot more. It allows you to build all kinds of deployables, including HESCO bags. It allows you to build heavy machine guns, uh, emplaced rocket launchers, ammo resupply, vehicle repair, all kinds of things. It allows you to build a lot of different deployables. So if you didn't know what a forward operating base or a FOB was. That's what it is. There you go. Uh, we've got a couple of questions in chat about joining. Let's make it, gonna, yeah, gonna, yeah. make it quick and simple, I think. The best thing you can do is go to squadops.gg. We'll throw a link in the chat eventually. And and register. The first thing you got to do is sign up for an SOTT basic session. That's squad ops tactics and training. And uh, we'll maybe run, you know, the we'll run the trailers for that. It takes about 45 minutes to go through you and you'll start. learn the basics to help you communicate, yeah, coordinate, I, and just have a smoother yeah, no, and more immersive experience within these operations. This is required back. for most operations. We do have open to the public ones, first Wednesday of every month. They're great to test it out if, you, if you're not sure you want to do it or not. Uh, there's also impromptu sessions, impromptu SOTT sessions. If you stay in our Discord, they happen all the time. Yep. You just pop into Discord, hang out, talk to people. If you're interested in getting one of those impromptu sessions together, just kind of let people know that you're interested in it. You'll see a lot of people start pinging you and getting people together and try to get an impromptu session. So if you want to get one sooner than the scheduled sessions, that's a way to do it. It's always good to see those impromptu sessions get together too, because I know... A lot of people are always really excited to get into these operations. And though we run SOTT Basic every other week, man, people really want to get into the operation as soon as they possibly can, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, and it's, it's a fun. lot of fun. It, they really are. I've played in a lot of them in my day. They're they're a good time. Yeah, you've been here for quite a while. You're you're one of the old guard of squad ops, as I would say. Oh, yeah. I was, I've been here since day one. Yeah. We... Me, on the other hand, I'm kind of one of the young guns. I'm pretty new here, but, you know, I feel like I found a family here, so I can't really complain. It's been something special to, to get in and kind of experience this community building. I haven't really experienced something like this since my old, old Arma 2 days back with some of the, the groups that I used to play with. So getting into a community like this well, and, that's and thing. being we're, part of it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're pretty big. We're getting pretty big, but we do our best to take care of the people in the community. It's got a great team and staff and, okay. and everything going on it's a lot of the people staff, really the admins, hard managers yeah a weird trouble a lot of people working hard speaking of people working hard behind the camera pen we haven't talked about him yet oh man i like me some pen he's back there he's the guy making sure that you have some cool looking stuff to look at you make sure making sure that you see some cool camera angles and everything pen we thank you we will always thank you <laughs> yeah, without him, this is impossible. Uh, Can't stream without him. It's not like this. Nope. Um, we'll try and do you know, it's just the production quality that you see here. So 
it even wild me whenever I came in. That's why I wanted to be a part of the streams and I wanted to commentate. I saw the production quality and I wanted to be a part of that, you know? And I can't say that I regret that a bit. I get to hang out here and talk to you lovely people. Tozo asking, or saying I've been emotional. A little bit, buddy. Tears me up right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what emotions uh, are. Yeah, Muff just hates everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Muff's a great guy, uh, head of our admin team, and he does a bang-up job. I think we have one of the best admin crews out there. I don't think that anybody can really challenge us for that. Great people, great people, good friends that I've made on the admin team yeah, as well. Yeah, we do. We have a great admin team. It makes our servers a lot of fun to play on. Uh, usually nothing gets out of control. Looks like they are getting themselves set up. Before we get started here, though, obviously, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in chat. Muff and I are always happy to answer stuff, always happy to talk to you guys. Carolot saying he's been impressed by the production values. Thank you, man. Uh, that means a lot to me, and I'm sure that'll mean a lot to to everybody that puts work into this thing. It's it's not just me, Muff, and Penn. You know, there's Nash and a bunch of the other guys on the content creation team and a lot of other people have put in a lot of work so oh yeah it's a I huge really we're live in 15 really. seconds we got a real short oh right boy there. i'm excited i'm excited to see the route that the u.s take to get there i wonder if they're going to push all the way west and then take the western road up north that would just make it awesome for them because the insurgents are all on the east side right now hey, uh, oh man we are live and here they go the transport techie or the transport at US takes off, starts cruising up the road. It's probably just gonna it's got two squads in it. I bet you it's just going to maneuver to its exfil location. I'm guessing that's where it's gonna go. Alright, Freaks just asked what the basic training is you have to do. It's called Squad Ops Tastic Tactics and Trainings, and it's just our basic session. We have more advanced ones for vehicles and other weapons. But for the most part it's teaches you formations, communication and and movement well and and covering you know just a bunch of different stuff really valuable stuff to have in any battle situation where are kind of oh, puts everybody they puts are everybody going on west. even playing field yep they are smart so we've, move we've got the whole insurgents team moving south on the east side they're barely on the west side of the river this river runs down the eastern side of the map <laughs> so they're total. they might just uh they may just not even see anything the whole way. You know, I'm getting called out. Hyper Evo saying I'm not mentioning the community team. Barton saying I'm not mentioning web dev. You know, there are so many amazing teams. Hey, I just Barton, can't name them all in one Barton, moment. we had you in the pipeline, man. We were going we to <laughs> – you were in our pipeline, okay? And Hyper Evo does a bang-up job. He, he, he's like the host – of every event, he t he tells you the base. He gives you reads the rules to you every time. He's done this a hundred times at least, and and he does a great job. He answers questions in general chat and helps helps out on the Discord more than anybody. That's one of those names that you get to know real quick whenever you get into Discord. Him and Blub, I think, were my two first exposures to any staff whenever I joined Squad Ops. So definitely doing a great job. Always doing a great job. I love our community team. Good. Oh, yeah. so, All right. Love our it community team. Like, love the web dev. It looks, looks like, like that transport is going to make it untouched, unheard, unseen. Insurgents are still running south. Yeah, it looks like the Humvee rolling into this location now. And after the Humvee rolls in... Oh, the Humvee actually went past. Hmm. The Humvee, the Humvee pushed off to the north. To the north. Um, it's going up north. To oh, yeah, the, it does. Yep. The rescue crew or whatever, the checkpoint. Yeah, the checkpoint crew. They decided to make that checkpoint far to the north. That's interesting. They dropped two guys in this compound here. Captain Foley and Colo just kind of push in and clear things out, make sure that there's no INS holding this little compound. <laughs> Hyper I'm saying. Go on a lip. Oh, go ahead. Oh, he was just saying that uh, he doesn't have a favorite that he calls out only for the live stream. You know, uh, I have many favorites. You're all my favorites. 
Every single one of you. Astro Comet asking what the objective. Yeah, Astro Comet asking what the objective is. He missed it. The U.S. need to push up to the north and collect a fob as well as a squad that's there, and then move it back to an Xville location. They've All already of the U.S. have actually. Yep, they're Did pushing they? south now. Yep, they're gonna make it back to the LZ without being seen. I think. Wow, that was already. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've chosen the same. They've chosen the same uh, LZ point in Echo Six Keypad Five as the U.S. did in the first round. All right, boys. But by going way up in the west side, there they're totally unseen. There is still no idea wow. by the insurgents where they're at. Yeah, we lost one. Yeah, you can see these guys. These are the ones that they collected up there in this vehicle right here pushing and they're going to move these guys right back to the exfil location once they get them all back to the exfil location they will set up and they will be able to defend from that position the good news for them is they probably are going to have time to get a good bit of logi runs in considering they kind of haven't really taken any contact yet All right. The insurgents, I, they've decided that they're not going to be exfilling in Foxtrot 6 or Foxtrot 5. They're, they've got most of their army through there already, or their platoon. So they're totally relocating. They're going to wait for the, uh, I think, they're going to wait for the U.S. to get down there. But, geez, the U.S. are already there. And here comes a Humvee. Yeah. Humvee is coming in. That's Dr. Kamikaze. That's command. He's going to run right into this squad. This is Shadow Ritual Squad. Here they come. They're like a bat out of hell. Let's see if any shots get fired. Oh, yeah. Oh. That was a shot. Someone died. Truth Realm. Truth Realm. He got shot right out of the top of that open top Humvee. Captain Foley hops in the top. Right through there. Yeah, he just pushed right through. And now he's putting in fire. Man. Here comes Dr. Kamikaze ramping up over that hill. Gets into position. Cool Breeze laying down fire to the north. Oh, man. This position is given away. They've yeah, got the their... INS, no. They've... I don't know what they're doing. I think they've got their guys back there. Yeah, yeah they there do. goes Kamikaze. Kamikaze's going in to drop the fob. He's the only one that can do it as the commander. He has to be the mm -hmm. one to place the fob. So he's going to set her down right here. That would have been unfortunate if he would have died. <laughs> Oh, that would have been really bad for them. You know what this FOB's going to do is let the U.S. build tons of, of structures. Uh, I know Matter went over it in the beginning, but you're going to see them place some sandbags and HMGs and even mortars. We might see some mortars this time. We but... just saw them empty their Logi truck as well. If you don't know what a Logi truck is, stand, short for logistics... And it is kind of the supply. It's the lifeblood of the FOB. You drop a FOB, and that allows you to build things. But in order to build things, you need resources, which include supply and ammo. And in order to get those supply and ammo, you got to you gotta run the Logi truck back and forth and drop stuff. So they just dropped it in there. They'll be able to start building. And they will make those Logi runs over and over again. Back to Maine, and then back to here. And he's already halfway back to Maine right now. Of course, Tedish has his squad on the south side to provide cover because the insurgents like to swing around here on the south and catch the Logi truck as he's uh, in, in transfer, I guess, in transit. Yeah, they like to use those mines and those IEDs as well as their lat kits to blow that thing up quick. Oh, here comes... Here comes the other transport truck. Google Tracks flying it into the base, slams it into a wall, and says, good enough for me. <laughs> and they all pile out of there. They're all here. They've got yep. a little bit of a perimeter going. They definitely don't have quite the perimeter that the U.S. did before. The U.S. were in the compound up to the north that the insurgents currently hold. But, it looks man, like they're they got trying a lot to... of guys down here. It looks like they're trying to use a bit more of a concentrated force this time. Whereas before, Karmica talked about those screening squads that they had left out. So far, I'm not seeing much of any of that. They've kind of got their their Humvee sitting out here freelancing a little bit. But for the most part, they are inside that FOB location, inside that XL. Nobody in that Humvee currently. 
Oh, server error. Um, server error, getting into it. All right. So server error, manning this Humvee. So the Humvee, quite an offensive force, and this thing can take a bit more of a beating than the technical that you saw before. The technical itself was pretty low on the defense rating, but the Humvee can take a bit more of uh, damage. It can also hold five U.S. guys, four of them sitting down, as well as the gunner and one driver, obviously. Pretty big 50 cal mounted up on top of this thing, but it is a little exposed. You can get one tapped off the top of that thing. I've seen and it we happen have more than once. Looks like Jack Reynolds goes down. He gets one tapped. Hamlet's guys are pushing north. Looks like they're moving up to try and get a perimeter, and they just walked into a full squad. So Hamlet, SMA, torched, and Racine here in, in here again. Hamlet leading the way. He is the squad leader. Throwing a smoke grenade out. You can hear the Humvees firing and a saw off to the west side. They're getting close to us on our north. Shadowed Ritual cool. reporting that they're getting close. He's right there in the middle of the compound. He's the squad leader for the insurgents to get attacked. The of the fob. Makes sense. Just drawing fire, just shooting at them, getting their heads down, not letting them peek. Just to give you guys a little bit of a reminder, the insurgents are going to be blue on your screen, and the U.S. are going to be red. So anytime you see red, that is going to be your U.S. Anytime you see blue on both cameras, that's going to be your insurgents. Just so you know, kind of a good point of reference there. We're hearing that arty techie actually being used. Where is that thing? You know, it's off to the east side, far east, actually, on the uh, bridge, I think, across the bridge to the east, across the river, actually. Way out there. What I like is the, the insurgents have this whole berm. They've got their guys along this whole berm along the road. Really good spacing here. Oh, wow, immune style. Rockets. Just got blown up by one of those rockets that came in. I think yeah, immune style just got hit. Fire in that. Oh, was it? That's an RPG, yeah. Some contact coming in northeast, or northwest as well. Firing in across that field. Techies are way out there. Yeah, Dermaplast in on it. A couple other guys firing in on this compound. Techies did take some shots, so they decided to relocate. Good stuff there. I like the arc. I like the arc that they're working on here. I like it. Oh, man. You can see crazy Russian on your screen there, close to U.S. Maine. Just bandaging up down here. It's like that already looks like they came down to. Bit. Yeah, it looks like they came down to ambush that Logi truck. You can see that Logi truck at the top there, that green bar, Corsair driving it, holding there, right by U.S. Maine. He's run down south. A couple shots come in. Kirkley hurt quite a bit. Crazy Russian. Well, the other guys trying to hold down here. They're taking shots from a lot of directions. Oh, yeah. So. Tedish, these guys are shooting hard. Yep, Crazy Russian hit again, bandaging up. And here comes that Logi truck. Let's see if they do try to still take it out. Here it's coming out. We'll see if they have any rockets left because they're going to hear it go by. They shoot at it, but that's all they can do, it looks like. All right, yeah, we're going to put shots already. Already just dumped. And don't think they got anybody. Maybe one guy. It looks like they might have gotten Noble Six, maybe. Or Captain Foley, or whoever that, that is. That already techie takes a lot of skill to use, I will say. You need a good spotter. You need a good guy on it to work together. And that can be complex at times. Alright, the Logi truck, as it did make it, right, make it safely push in, push in out of U.S. Maine... You saw it kind of run through Crazy Russian and his crew. Now moving back up here. 
And it drops its resources, turns around, and it's going again. Corsair, he is playing Euro Truck Simulator tonight. <laughs> you know, they want those resources. That that poor Kirkley squad got beat up. It looks like they're even trying to fall out of there. It's not even worth going for them. They're just going to hold the area. Oh, uh, yeah. If you have to go soon, then go, go get him, Remick. Go get him. YOLO, bro. Good luck, Remick. I believe yeah, you got pop shadowed ritual goes down. That's a squad lead, I believe. That points, is squad, squad one's completely the insurgents have pushed in a little bit. Expit right on the wall. Great work by Hamlet squad. They, they're taking this compound back. Expit holding right on that wall. He's got guys all around him up here. He's got guys above, he's got guys to his west, and he's just trying to hold this angle. Expit holding here. Sees Rager maybe a little bit. He he peeks back in. Captain Foley there as well. Expit laying in fire. A couple shots coming back at him. Smoke coming in, man. This is getting real intense real quick. I think Rager just threw a grenade at Expit. He did oh, he yep. got Expit. Expit's <laughs> down. What a good grenade from him. That was that was an Expit's pocket. <laughs> Here comes Best Pony Squad, raging from the north. They're coming straight in from the north. Whole squad of them. Right across the open field, didn't even throw a grenade, no time. Let's get in there, is what they're saying. Well, you need a little bit of aggression if you want to take back this compound. You got to peek oh, and peek comes hard. The, the Artie Tech, he's coming in. Karma Cut's in it. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm this alive. crew with its crispy on the east. Pushing up as well. It looks like they got a little stuck in this field, but not a, not anymore. Karma cut goes up. He goes down, down immediately. Command, command on <laughs> command right there. Karma cut. Karma cut. <laughs> command oh on command action. Drew Meister That's peeking in. Fires a rocket, takes out Foley. Kamikaze's bleeding and bleeding good. He's hurt real bad. Kamikaze. I just bleeding. heard he I might not make it. Watch these insurgents oh. fall back. Stand back, stand back. We're gonna see a boom. We're gonna see a kamikaze. Right there Whoa. it is. I don't think it took anybody out though. No, I think they were already all dead. Oh man. Reach starting to move in. Getting ready. Looks like this might be where their push comes from. The INS have done a good job with their explosives and, you know, their artillery and everything of clearing out the north side of this. It looks like they might be able to get a good push here. We'll have to see how it goes. Another RPG going in. They have decided, you know, we got all these explosives. We might as well use them. U.S. pushed out of the northern side for the most part. They're trying to get some guys back in there to help. But Hamley's got guys coming up north. Up. There's still a few yeah. guys up north that could push back in. Rager coming up. He sees them digging down that Hesco. He puts out... It looks like... Is he getting a grenade ready? I think he was. Yep! He took down two with that grenade. Silas and Umarex going Very down. Great grenade from him. Triton got hurt as well. He's bleeding. He's going to be able to patch himself up, though. Rager still just holding that right, north. Here comes some more coming in. It's pretty much Rager by himself over here right now. He's got everybody around him. Jackson, he's got some cover. He's got some guys moving up with him now. Finally, Redcoats here also. Yep. But doing a great job holding out another LAT comes in. Gonzo the Gons goes down another US down and it looks like they're gonna try to get this push on to the north part-time ninja turtle turtle five guy turtle squad pushing in together buddies rage just shooting him. everything he's got a ton of bullets yep. he's letting them fly you know all this contact though on the east part-time ninja turtle best pony and turtle five guy pushing in from the back and they take somebody down who was that that was XF that goes down now Rager knows, though, and he's sneaking up on that roof a little bit. Jack's holding the stairwell. Yep. Redcoat goes down as well. Action's getting tense. Lucid pushes, or part-time Ninja Turtle pushes a corner and kills Lucid. 
Looks like the insurgents are going to hold up pushing the stairwell again. Here comes Reach, going to peek. Down he goes. So Jax is just holding. Jax just takes out two. That's Drew Meister and Reach. Here comes Medita coming up. On the south side, Google Trex and his crew just trying to hold this out. They're getting a lot of contact around oh. them, but they are looking north. Vedita took out Jax. He's done. Let's see. There's no more U.S. on this northern side. South side, Miyamoto, Google Trex, Canador holding over. on still. Ram mighty. Uh, all I know is I'm hearing shots coming in. That's from the Dishkateki on the east. Laying down some fire. The buildings to your east on the south side of those buildings, somewhere. So the insurgents have taken about half of this so far. Yeah. Good work. You They're know, you get a good, good foothold. Job. The good thing I like is there's a lot of good communication right now, even without their command. Karma Cut's been yep. dead for a few minutes now. I still hear Kirkley, Best Pony, everyone's talking. Google Track's still pushing up here. A smoke grenade goes over his shoulder. He's trying to get a peek on. He might be able to see Triton. No, he doesn't. Oh, Google oh, Tracks goes Google down. Tracks down. That was Best Pony. He's in the garage to the southeast there. He's on the south side now. Sightless is going to shoot him in the back. And he's down. Sightless gets him. Sightless goes down. That was Silent Death taking him. We got trades left and right right now. A couple U.S. pushing in from the west. Vsauce, Kennet, Ram. K2 Nod, S. Klein. Mighty. A couple other guys pushing in here. Trying to hold this compound the best that they can. See if they're able to. S. Klein pushing across to the north. Here they come They're back again. Up on this. Let's see what we got from the bird's eye view here. Two, Looks four, like some grenades five. going in. Vsauce Kennet throws in a grenade. We'll see if that gets anybody. Oh, it hurt. Vive it killed Vedetta. Oh, man. That was a grenade from downtown. That was <laughs> that was a Hail Mary saw, over saw, a wall. I saw sandbags blow up below me. <laughs> That was just a Hail Mary. Oh, Mighty's that was beautiful. In. He's on that southern yeah. doorway. Go to peek hard. Ram pushing around to the north. Mighty got a grenade in there. We'll see where it goes. I don't know where that so you went. Guys, a few U.S. soldiers up north now on the north side of the compound. Trying to work their way back in. Parton Ninja Turtle pulling back there. He's got Turtle 5 guy there with him. They're going to try to hold this northern side of the compound. We'll see what happens here. I heard Turtle Guy 5 say he's watching. Oh, yeah. A lot of enemies up here. <laughs> Oh, S. Klein hit Turtle Guy 5 once. I don't think he's bleeding. He is. He's bandaging himself. Yeah, he's part time Ninja Turtle's going to peak soon. Yeah, he gets. Uh, who did he get there? Vsauce Kennet. He downed him. Oh, right in the dome. Yep. S. Right Klein takes him down, but he takes down K2 Nod in the process. Let's see. Who else is out here? Actually, Wookie, it no longer yeah. depends on the perspective. We are both on the same team for this. This Humvee has not moved for a while. Server error is looking. Yeah. Kind of you know, how are the insurgents numbers? How are we sitting here? We got about 33 to 24. So the U.S. are doing a good job holding off. They've really fended off the, the insurgents pushing in. After a great coordinated effort by the insurgents they're just not quite getting the penetration they want even after taking the northern end of this building mm -hmm. ram inside. pushing in wow he's close triton there, not very far from him actually he has a guy right on the other side of the wall from him nathan there you know what i'm looking i think we've got triton and kirkley left are they it oh discotechie opens up on the north takes down slinger That's oh kirkley. man Okay, Nathan's here too, so I see three U.S. left. Is that all? I'm sorry, insurgents. Is that all the insurgents have left? I can't really tell. Oh, S-Klein pushing I up think, here. I think a crazy Russian's off to the east as well. 
Ram goes down, Miyamoto goes down, US having a hard time making this push happen. Yeah, As that's Klein true, gets hurt. five, Triton, Nathan has gone down. So I think we have four US. Alright, Torch pushing in here. Our outlines are a little weird right now, we're just noticing, I'm not sure what caused that, but everybody's blue. So, no, I got, I got, I got red US. You know what? It's probably because I had to change teams. That's probably why. Oh well. All right, we're gonna see tell by the name. Rocket into that window, and he he missed. He missed somehow. Wow. Turtle guy five ate that up and is alive. Don't know how that happened. Hit right on that window. Didn't manage to kill him. Looks like Kirkley, crazy Russian. Turtle guy five. Are they the only three left? They're the only three uh, left for the insurgents. Wow. That's amazing. They had that great push, and they took that north side of the compound, but that's it. Crazy Russian there on the north. He gets downed. Hoo-hoo. Oh, Kirkley. no. Kirkley's it, right? Nope, Turtle Guy 5's still alive. Turtle Guy 5 and Kirkley. And S. Klein, S. Takes, Klein him. takes him. So Turtle Guy 5 is last man standing for the insurgents. He's oh, in the nope. compound. Yes, yes it is. Never mind. That was his own 50 cal firing on him. <laughs> he doesn't That's know, uh, apparently. <laughs> He's a little scared. Alright. So, it looks like they're getting ready to make this push. We tend to do this from time to time, you know, kind of give them a little bit of a a, a little nudge to say, you know, kind of get going. Uh, we don't want it to last too long. But Turtle 5 guy, the last one holding out in this little building, and all the U.S. around trying to push in. I can hear Turtle Guy 5 in local. He's worried. <laughs> I'm hearing Turtle, yeah, talking in local. <laughs> you can see kind of a, an over-the-shoulder perspective from Turtle 5 guy. He's just talking and he's saying, you know, that's what I do, push from every side at once. He's he's <laughs> planning out what's going to happen to him, how he's going to die. <laughs> I, I'd like to, to see wonder, him clutch it. You have to wonder if they know if he's in there, or if they they definitely don't know he's the last man. Come on, come on. The triangles don't mean anything. They're bugged. Usually, an up triangle means that person's alive, and a down triangle means that person's dead. But as you can see, they're all a bunch of up triangles. Where you're coming from. So on, it's up. definitely a bugged thing right now. Uh, normally, they shouldn't even be there for spectator cams. But all those up ones are people who respawned and went into spectator cam to watch. Like, if you look at Miyamoto's camera, it should look like his. His is like a little drone flying around or something. So for a lot of it, it's bugged. Yeah, little little weird. One thing that it does denote, though, if you see it ever blinking, like you know, from bright red or bright blue to kind of a darker, that means that it, that person is bleeding. So that's a little tip for you. But all right, here comes the push. Looks like they're getting closer. Turtle Five guy holding out in this building, last man standing for the INS. He's got himself we'll an automatic rifleman kit, so he's not going to be afraid to sling the got bullets. All the time in the world. When time comes. All the time in the world. I mean, twenty minutes. I'm seeing a saw <laughs> and a hand grenade down here on the south side. Oh, turtle says. Turtle says he's got all the time in the world, and by all the time he means twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, a bad nade. Left in the timer. You hurt yourself with that. That he's bad nade hurt him. Right here. Putting some kind of shots in here. He's just kind of holding. U.S. might be trying to entice him to move. He's going to be patient for sure. Yeah, they're going to try to push in here and clear him out. You know, now that's the thing. They have no idea how many people are left. So I think Tittish is they gonna are shot going to if, if he pokes think a little so? farther. Yeah, I you get might it. be able to get over here and see him. Yep, here it is. Here it comes. 
Oh, he hit him once. Oh, he, he hit, hit him. him. They are watching me. He's bandaging now. Yep, there we go. Yep. Yeah, just let him know. Oh no! Oh no! The shots ringing in over his head. <laughs> oh, and they're they're just slowly pushing in. There's Saw's fire and Teddy's just reloading. Just I heard tap, 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 tap. Here comes a nade. Did it go in? I think That's so. It made it yeah. in. That's good game. Yep. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> I love it. I actually heard Turtle there as the nade came in. He saw it and went, well, that's it. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it. Great job, everybody there. Wow. What, Ninja Turtle what helped push job. in. He had seven Rizzo. kills. Good win, everyone. We really good pod. stuff. The mission objective. What a what a great round. I mean, Crusader is That's such a very experience. entertaining operation. I love watching it from above just because of all the intricate stuff that happens. You know, INS taking that north side of the compound, but then not being able to hold it with the U.S. counter push. And uh, what a what an awesome operation. Oh, oh yeah, that Crusader. was fun. That's always a lot of fun. We might even see if we can get Kamikaze and Karma Cut in here again. Yeah, kind of finish this out Talk with a good little it. interview. That was really close. Great defense by the U.S. there. Yeah, let's see if we can get I don't know if they're coming in, in or not. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we can get them. Hello. Oh, Hello, there guys. We go. Okay, Good man. game. Yeah, great job, everybody. So I got a question for Karma Cut. When did you guys first realize the U.S.'s location? And do you even know where they had their first vehicle checkpoint? We did not uh, really care about the checkpoint. Um, <laughs> our main objective was to uh, establish a perimeter, uh, set up base of fire, and then push rapidly uh, before we could get too many defenses up. So time was kind of a factor. Uh, we didn't want too many HESCO walls going up or sandbags or uh, barbed wire or anything like that. Um, so yeah, uh, main thing was that Northern Ridge, like I talked about last game, uh, has a lot of sight lines that you can control, um, both to, to both teams' advantage, whether you're assaulting or defending. So that was a key point. Unfortunately, we, we lost control of that early on, which kind of hurt us in the push. I was very pleasantly uh, surprised to see that we did manage to breach that compound, even to get down the FOB. So I think that was great. Um, team did a great job, uh, despite a couple... Uh, incidents where we could have, you know, perhaps improved in other places, but I'm satisfied with how uh, how we did as INS. We got that fob down. We did end up losing on casualties, but uh, I think uh, that was great. Yeah. Speaking of losing on casualties, do you know who actually killed you? I'm not sure. Well, he's right in here with us. It was Doctor Kamikaze. <laughs> <laughs> little command on command action right there. He took yep. you out. Oh, you hopped out of that. Uh, I wasn't that the artillery tech. The artillery tech. Yeah, yeah the you drove right I, up into me. I know. <laughs> I was in the back of the techie, so I was facing the back, so I was looking behind us. So when we got up, I had no idea what I was going to get out into because oh, I was man. facing the back. And so I get <laughs> out, and all of a sudden, you're right there on top of the Hesco. I'm like, oh. I hear I hear this techie to my northeast. I'm like, Hamley, there's a there's a, a techie to your east. Oh shit, it's getting louder. It, it's closer. So I jump up on the Hesco, and you guys stopped right in front of me. <laughs> made, <it laughs> oh, made it made it easy enough for me. So. Uh, well, yeah, that was, thank you, that was thank good you for uh, for having me. I'm gonna have to step out here, but yeah, Kamikaze, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure everyone would love to hear your thoughts on a uh, U.S. defense here. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, it was. It Thanks, was, Karma. Hate to say it, but it was uh, pretty much the same thing you ended up doing last round. So uh, we had a little bit different of a strategy. Hey, what of, works uh, works, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> not too many locations to choose from, and that is the location to choose. So. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll catch you guys later, everyone. Thank you for watching, and uh, make sure you hit up that giveaway. Yeah, yeah, thank That's you, right. Thank you, Karma Cut. So, Kamikaze, little question for you. It seemed like you kept a couple guys, like a couple assets, kind of stationed outside and then brought them in later. Was that kind of the plan from the start, or did that just evolve? <sighs> so, time? we didn't have much time between us seeing the cache locations and us choosing a VCP and us you know, forming a plan. So really it was kind of just a flowing plan the whole time. It, there was not a whole bunch of, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to keep these assets out of play. In fact, initially it was, let's ferry, ferry a squad over to the exfil location. Let's get a squad up there in the, in the uh, trans with a backup squad just to provide some cover and go pick up those guys. And then that ended up with like four or five guys left over in this Humvee. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm driving this Humvee up there with these guys it will provide some fire support and it just ended up kind of kind of flowing from there you know it was
gotcha. just free flowing, very free flowing round. So we we did have a we did have a good uh, convoy route though planned. It was just one straight route, no turns, <laughs> made it easy. <laughs> that was great. They didn't even they wouldn't even have saw you. They were all coming straight down the river on the east side. I'm sure they didn't even hear a vehicle going that way. So well, that, that was scary. sound plant getting them back. The, how the scary nice... was that Humvee push through the village though with the oh, RPG man. that well, came that in? Was, that... Truth be told, ha ha ha. Uh, yeah. Truth <laughs> Bum was the only person I think to get killed with that. Oh, so. he was. Poor, poor, he got flopped out of there. Yeah, poor guy. But um, honestly, I don't think I expected them to be there that early. They got there quick. Again, very quick round, very quick push from Karma Cut. But um, it was actually it was kind of nice because as soon as I knew they were there, I it was like, okay, we gotta get stuff set up now. You know, we don't have time mm -hmm. to to lollygag. So it kind of probably helped us and uh, helped us get into it, more advantageous positions. Like for example, I saw that they were up there, so I pushed Hamlet squad up there to retake that position because it is a key position mm -hmm. for that exfil. So um, at the very least, I think they killed a couple of their guys and at least pushed them back a bit. So it, it helped, everything yeah. helps. Yeah, great work to you and great work to Karma Cut and all your squad leaders and everybody involved, awesome rounds. Really fun to watch from our perspective. I can say that. Well, we try, we try to put on a good show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? It's not rigged or anything. I'm just... No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not, not scripted at all. We don't write this. I, I promise you. Oh, trust me. You could write this. You could write this stuff. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Too, too much crazy stuff happens. Anyway, it was fun, guys. Thanks for, uh, thanks for pulling me in. Yeah, appreciate yeah, it, Tommy. Thanks, you, thanks uh, for the time. Yeah, you, you guys have a good all one, have buddy. a great evening. All right. All right. Do we have anything well, else? Let's see. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions? I want to thank everyone for watching. That's for sure. Thank you, Matter, for being here and Penn for doing what you do. Yeah. And stick I mean, around at the end because we're going to show you the SOTT basic trailer. That's what people were asking about. So definitely you can watch that real shortly here because I don't think we have much left for you. Check us out at squadops.gg. There's links to our Discord. That's the best place to get help. Mm -hmm. and, uh, get in there. Say hey. I don't have much left. You got anything for him, Matter? I gotta say thank you to Penn again, our guy. You know, behind the cameras doing the thing. Always, always appreciate it. Also, thank you to all of our our staff and everybody that makes this thing possible. All the staff, admins, viewers, everybody watching here. We really appreciate it, guys. You guys are the ones that we do it for, so we appreciate you. Other than that, I think that's it for me. You got anything, right. Muff? No, just come on back Saturday because we're going to be doing it again Saturday night, same time. Yeah, we got Coyote Ridge, newish op. Oh, uh, what a fun, pretty what new. a fun one! That is so much fun. We might also have a first session stream, which is five hours prior wow. to this event tonight. So yeah, we usually don't get those. Around. Yeah, I definitely, I won't be there for that. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. I have a job that doesn't let me have days oh. off. But at least not Other right now. I do get days off. It's just it's a, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, check out squadops.gg for all the information and uh thank you guys. Really appreciate everybody for coming out and we'll see you again on Saturday. Yep, thank you very much. We'll let you go. We'll end with the SOTT basic trailer.